Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers. This is 9th week from 29th February to 6th March. Look at the first question. 500 megawatt Sampur power project is being built by India in Sri Lanka. India is constructing this Sampur power project in Sri Lanka. This is situated near Trincomalee in Sri Lanka. And please don't forget India is also constructing Bagherhat power project in Bangladesh. And this Sampur power project is not taking off on expected lines. But if someone asks about Sampur power project, please don't forget the Sri Lanka. And at the same time, Sri Lankan currency is Sri Lankan rupee. And at the same time, capital, please don't forget, I have given here administrative and commercial capitals. Look at the next question. Name the state which is in the forefront in distribution of LED bulbs. Andhra Pradesh is in the forefront of distributing LED bulbs. And in several cities, Andhra Pradesh government established this LED bulbs. And if someone asks the state which is the leading in distribution of LED bulbs, please don't forget Andhra Pradesh. Look into the next issue. At present, the limit of a foreign portfolio investment in public sector banks. In public sector banks, the foreign portfolio investment limit is 20%. Please don't forget. Because in public sector, government holds minimum 51%. That's why the foreign portfolio investment allowed in public sector banks is 20%. Please don't forget. In 2015-16, government approved Amrut Action Plans for 483 cities. You may ask, what is Amrut? Amrut is Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation and Total 500 cities are being planned for development under Amrut. Please don't forget. And 2015-16 government approved Amrut action plans for 483 cities with an investment of rupees 20,491 crore. Name the scheme under which 20,000 madrasa students were trained for skill development. Basically, to impart modern education as well as skill development, this Naeem Manjil program is devised. So, under Naeem Manjil program, 20,000 madrasa students were trained for skill development. India will launch Aditya L1 to study Corona of the Sun. So, the answer here is the Sun for exploration of Corona of the Sun, this Aditya L1 is proposed to be launched. Right? If someone says Aditya L1, that is with regard to the exploration of the Sun, please don't forget. India approved provision of credit of $150 million to Iran for development of Cha Bahar port. $150 million credit India approved for development of Cha Bahar port. And please don't forget this Cha Bahar port is in Iran and this Gwadar port is in Pakistan. This Cha Bahar port will be developed by India so that India will have access to Afghanistan and Central Asian countries. And this Gwadar port will be developed by China and subsequently it will construct infrastructure corridor to China. So, unfortunate aspect is, this infrastructure corridor is passing through park-occupied Kashmir. That's why India protested for this. And if someone asks this Gwadar port, this is by China. If someone asks a Chabahar port, that is by India. Please don't forget. BHEL commissioned gas-based combined cycle power plant at Monarchak. This power plant is situated in Tripura. Please don't forget. Look into the next one. President of India inaugurated the country's largest heritage conservation project. This is a Musiris project. This Musiris project was recently inaugurated by the president near Trisur. This is basically ambitious plan for conservation of palaces, museums, synagogue and number of archaeological monuments of the state and almost 2000 years ago this was the port in Kerala and so as to look at the 
conservation of heritage this project is inaugurated recently and this is country's largest heritage conservation project please don't forget this musiris project this is near thrissur in kerala name the committee which is looking into the multiple regulatory clearances nowadays if you want to establish some project or if you want to start some business it requires several approvals you have to go from pillar to post several approvals are required now so as to regulate that so as to improve the mechanism of granting approvals this ajay shankar committee is looking into the issue so as to reduce the regulatory clearances for starting business in india basically this is to improve the ease of doing business index in our country right look at the next one rupees 10000 crore stand up india fund and this stand up india fund will be maintained by sidbi please don't forget and this 10000 crore stand up india fund will be in the form of a fund of funds right friends look at the next question justice hl dattu he took over as the 7th chairperson of national human rights commission and national human rights commission chairperson retires at the age of 70 years please don't forget in northeast foundation stone for the first metro project was led at gauhati and just before the announcement of elections this foundation stone ceremony for this metro rail project was held and this is the first planned metro project in northeastern part of the country name the film which backed the best film award in 88th academy awards popularly known as oscars awards the film which backed the best film is spotlight and it has also won the award for best original screenplay and the most talked after the revenant that is the best actor leonardo dicaprio and alessandro gonzales got best director award and best actress has gone to bry larson for the room and if you want more about these awards these awards popularly known as oscar awards basically given by academy of motion picture arts and sciences established in 1927 in beverly hills california and these are popularly known as the oscars and these are being presented every year in dolby theater since 2002 please look into this picture this is dolby theater hollywood and spotlight this is not only the best film and at the same time best original screenplay and if you look at the revenant leonardo dicaprio got the best actor award he is leonardo dicaprio and the same film that is the revenant got the best director award alessandro gonzales got the best director award and best actress award has gone to bry larson for the film room right friends look into the next one as per the statement given by the communications and it minister ravi shankar prasad is the communications and it minister as per his statement payments bank will start functioning from march 2017 by india post right and as per the minister's statement by this month end 20000 micro atms will be installed and the minister also stated that it and it enabled services crossed 100 billion dollars in the country look at the next one nodal authority for operating pradhan mantri awas yojana credit linked subsidy scheme is national housing bank and please don't forget nhb is the subsidiary of reserve bank of india and at the same time please don't forget this pradhan mantri awas yojana credit linked subsidy scheme gives interest subsidy on loans right so government plans to construct two crore houses in urban areas by 2022 please don't forget railways has given permission to the trial run of talgo trains 
on two routes at 160 to 200 kilometers per hour and this Talgo is the company based in Spain please don't forget and they will undertake this experimental trial run on two routes at 160 to 200 kilometers per hour and please look into this this is Spain this is European country capital is Madrid and the currency is euro these things please don't forget look at the next one government plans to give soil health cards to all the 14 crore farmers in India there are 14 crore farm holdings are there and government plans to give this soil health cards to all the 14 crore farmers by March 2017 please don't forget and for this purpose 362 crore year marked in the budget and please don't forget the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana the flagship program of the government was allocated to be 5,500 crore. Look into the next one. In World Trade Organization, India lost the case of solar cells and modules to United States of America. We have deliberated in lecture part. This is the case pertaining to domestic content requirement. That means the stipulation of purchasing the solar cells and modules manufactured in India only and USA complied to World Trade Organization. You may ask where is World Trade Organization? World Trade Organization is a Geneva based organization. And please don't forget United States capital is Washington DC and the United States dollar is the currency for United States. World's largest arms importer is India and India constitutes 14% of global arms imports. If you look at 2011-15, India's imports are 14% of total global arms imports. Compliance window on domestic black money. Domestic black money compliance window will start on June 1 and it will be available for 4 months and on disclosure of black money people have to pay tax at 30%, penalty at 7.5% and surcharge at another 7.5% and please don't forget for the undisclosed foreign assets we had one window in 2015 and it disclosed 4147 crores friends look at the next issue that is supreme court ordered maharashtra government to give licenses to dance bars by march 2016 due to one reason or the other maharashtra is delaying the order of licenses for dance bars now the supreme court stated that by march 16 please give licenses for dance bars and this is maharashtra capital is mumbai all of you are well aware Government stated that two public sector undertakings are presently setting up nuclear power plants in the country. As per the statement given in parliament, the two public sector undertakings which are presently setting up nuclear power plants in the country are one of them is NPCIL, the second one is Bharatiya Nabhikiya Vidyut Nigam Limited, popularly known as Bhavini. Actually, it is BNVNL, it is the Government of India Enterprise. So, for the establishment of nuclear power plants in the country, we have two public sector undertakings. All of you are well aware about the Nuclear Power Corporation of India, but please don't forget this Bharatiya Nabhikiya Vijut Nigam Limited also. Friends, look at the next one. Name the country which stated that it will construct the world's first floating nuclear power station. The country is China. And with the establishment of first floating nuclear power station, the oil exploration will become easy. Directly power can be given from these floating nuclear power stations and capital is facing and the currency is a renminbi for china please don't forget world's most populous country is china 
the World Table Tennis Team Championships were held in Kuala Lumpur. And please don't forget, Indians men's and women's teams both won the championships. Martin Crow, the famous cricket captain of New Zealand, died at an early age of 53 because of a lymphoma. It is a cancer and he scored 5,444 runs in 77 tests with an average of 45.36 and he was adjusted the Wisden's Cricketer of the Year Award, the prestigious award in the year 1985 and he was also adjusted the Player of the Tournament 1992 World Cup. In 1992 World Cup, he was the Player of the Tournament. Looking to the next one, the world's largest DBT program is Pahal. More than 15 crore accounts are under DBT, which are getting direct subsidy from government. So, this DBT program pertains to LPG subsidy. Please don't forget. Right, friends, look at the next one. Government allowed foreign exchanges to hold up to 15% stake in Indian exchanges. Indian exchanges means all of you are well aware. Bombay Stock Exchange is one example. Then the National Stock Exchange in these exchanges. Now the foreigners can hold up to 15% stake instead of 5%. Now foreign exchanges can hold up to 15% in Indian exchanges. This is an increase of 10%. Previously, it was only 5%. Krishi Kalyan says, all of you are well aware, this will be used for farmers' welfare. And this is 0.5% which was announced in the budget. This target of fiscal deficit for 2016-17 will be 3.5%. And please don't forget, during the current financial year of 2015-16, the fiscal deficit is 3.9% and for the next year, it will be 3.5%. Friends, look at the next one. Target for disinvestment for 2016-17 is rupees 56,500 crores. And we have to see whether the government will realize this or not. Disinvestment is basically in the government organizations like BHEL or NTPC or SBI, keeping the government's shareholding of 51%. Government shareholding has to be kept 51%. But beyond that, government can sell it. That is disinvestment, friends. The amount kept aside for recapitalization of banks for 2016-17 is 25,000 crores of rupees. Please don't forget. And this is required as per the Basel norms. The largest multilateral field training exercises, FTX, was conducted on Indian soil at Pune. And this is named as the Force 18. And this is the largest military training exercise involving 18 countries. Here, 9 Asian countries and 8 observer countries participated. One Asian country, Myanmar, has not participated. And it focused on not only land mining operations, it also focused on another aspect that is the peacekeeping operations. And Force 18 is to build a common understanding to achieve interoperability among 18 Asian plus countries. And these are the pictures pertaining to Force 18. Right friends, RBI issued draft norms for establishment of NBFC AA. What is AA? AA is account aggregator. What is the meaning of account aggregator? Here with account aggregator, you will get the details of your all the financial assets. You may have savings bank account deposit, you may have fixed deposit, you may have mutual funds, you may have insurance policies and you can see all your financial instruments in one single format. 
so in one single format you can see all the details of your financial instruments that is the meaning of nbfc account aggregator the second edition of the two day bankers meet gnan sangam was held in gurgaon and now the banks are under pressure because of non performing assets gurgaon is in haryana though it is close to delhi primary mission of setu bharatam it is to eliminate all the railway level crossings on national highways by 2019 please don't forget the government's aim is by 2019 all the level crossings on national highways will be eliminated with the road over bridges or road under bridges and it entails an investment of 50000 crore rupees and recently the prime minister inaugurated this program look into the next issue the clean environment says the previous name was clean energy says previously it was rupees 200 per ton of coal now it is increased to rupees 400 per ton of coal so the answer here is rupees 400 basically this is to give impetus to clean energy projects and the proceeds here will be transferred to national clean energy fund and this clean energy ses is renamed as clean environment ses please don't forget and the proposed charge is rupees 400 per each ton of coal in asia cup cricket india won for the record sixth time india won for the record sixth time this asia cup cricket in mirpur that is in dhaka india defeated bangladesh by 8 wickets and the match was reduced to 15 overs because of rain and sri lanka won five times and pakistan won two times and in this tournament man of the series is sabir rahman of bangladesh and man of the match for the final is shikhar dhawan look into the next issue that is who is responsible for identifying the public sector enterprises for strategic sale for selling the public sector enterprises niti aayog is responsible and the final decision will be taken by cabinet committee on economic affairs the cabinet committee on economic affairs will be headed by the prime minister and the identification is the responsibility of niti aayog and the final decision will be taken by cabinet committee on economic affairs department of disinvestment is renamed as department of investment and public asset management or dpm so from now onwards this department of disinvestment which is under the ministry of finance is renamed as department of investment and public asset management please don't forget department of investment and public asset management that is dpm so from now onwards this department of disinvestment will be called department of investment and public asset management amazon's largest facility outside united states is coming up in hyderabad and recently several multinational giants have expressed their intention to establish their bases in hyderabad because of the reason the political uncertainty has gone with the establishment of telangana state and look at the next one 47th dada saheb phalke award has been conferred on manoj kumar manoj kumar got 47th dada saheb phalke award and he is the actor and director known for patriotic films and this is given by government of india for outstanding contribution for growth and development of indian cinema and this is given for the year 2015 and it consists cash prize of rupees 10 lakh please don't forget the jury is headed by lata mangeshkar and his films include haryali aur rasta o kaun thi himalayan ki god me and he got national film award for upkar and he was awarded padma shri in 1992 right friends look at the next issue he is mr manoj kumar look at the next issue government will digitally connect all post offices in rural areas 
by March 2017 and the modernization of post offices will cost 4,909 crores and all the 1,29,000 Grameen Dock Sevak post offices in rural areas will be connected through SIM card based network. That is the intention of government to connect all the rural post offices. They are called Grameen Dock Sevak post offices. Right friends, name the Bollywood actor, filmmaker who stated that he will direct a film soon on Aryabhatta. Aryabhatta is a 5th century mathematician. And he authored Arya Bhatiya and Arya Siddhanta. He is well known for giving scientific explanation of eclipses. And now Manoj Kumar expressed intention to direct the film on Arya Bhatta. Right friends, look at the next one. Government released classification of industries based on their pollution potential. The number of color codes are four, please don't forget. That is the red, orange, green, white. So these the four color codes system was devised. And if the pollution is more, they will come into red category. If the pollution is less, they will go into white category. And please don't forget, more than 30 industries that have zero pollution levels have been exempted from taking environmental clearances. Right? This is very important point. Name the Indian bank which got a license to operate in Myanmar. This is the State Bank of India which got a license to operate in Myanmar. And friends, with this let us conclude questions and answers. And please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.